So Rudy Giuliani is using the anniversary of 9-11 to scapegoat his current enemies, the current enemies of this administration, um, and these are the places that he wants to do regime change next. Take a look at this. This is incredibly cringeworthy. You can't forget this for another reason, though. It's not over. This isn't Pearl Harbor. It will someday be Pearl Harbor. In other words, the thing that caused it will be solved. In that case, Japan, Germany, Italy. Uh, the people who killed us then, that movement, is still alive. And it's killing us today. And, and killing our soldiers in Afghanistan or doing terrorist acts. Uh, and when I talk about that, I'm talking about it broadly. I'm talking about the Islamic extremist movement. Iran typifies it. Iran is probably the biggest supporter of it, the biggest funder of it. Um, they're killing people every day inside Iran and trying real hard to kill people outside they Iran. They killed hundreds of our guys we in still, Iraq. We still have the bad Taliban, the really bad Taliban, and the middle Taliban, and we have forms of al-Qaeda and ISIS. And you got, for example, in the middle of South America, the, the three or four of the major terrorist groups, Islamic terrorist groups, are involved in the drug trade. They're involved in making money with the drug dealers. Where? Um, in the triangle that would, that would involve um, Ecuador, it would involve um, right, uh, Venezuela. Venezuela generals are involved in the drug trade, and they're hiding terrorists in Venezuela, which is one of the reasons we have to get rid of Maduro. Maduro, we think of Maduro as just being a problem isolated there. You, you get a, a hostile regime like that, an insane regime like that, and the terrorists take advantage of it. The point is the movement is still going on. Dog, they're not even trying anymore. Not even trying. Anybody who has any political knowledge whatsoever, I don't care if you casually follow the news one day a week, you should have enough political knowledge to know that every word of that was complete horseshit. I mean, come on, man. Seriously? Okay, let's go through this. <laughs> He says, first he says, well, you know, th and this is all for the anniversary of 9-11. That's what this whole segment is about. And he says, well, you know, this, the Islamic extremist movement is still around. Well, yeah, it is. And so maybe you should ask yourself if the whole war on terror was worth it when in some places there are more terrorists today than there were before we even invaded. So if the whole goal was we're going to defeat terrorism, well, you kind of made it worse with the whole war on terror thing now, didn't you? So maybe that wasn't the right approach. Maybe we should have went about it a totally different way. But I digress from that. He tries to link Iran to the, quote, Islamist extremist move, Islamic extremist movement. And he says it's, they're the biggest supporter and funder of it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on now. What was it? 15 of the 19 hijackers were from Saudi Arabia? It's Saudi Arabia who exports these radical Salafist mosques, which is, you know... Sunni extremist fundamentalism. He's trying to conflate because, again, if you know anything about politics in the Middle East, you know that Iran is Shia. Now, don't get me wrong, the government is a theocracy, which is unacceptable, and they do oppress their people, absolutely. Um, but they're Shia. And ISIS and Al-Qaeda and that jihadist movement which has targeted the West, that's a Sunni fundamentalist movement. That's a Salafist movement. So that's not, it's not even close to the same thing. In fact, quite the opposite. You know who's still fighting ISIS? Shia militias. Now you could say, hey man, they've also done human rights atrocities and they have their own issues. Fair enough. But they are fighting each other. So this idea where he's trying to conflate ISIS and Al-Qaeda and the attack on 9-11 with Iran, that's so low and so disgusting and so disingenuous that it's hard to even put into words how wrong that is and how fucked up that is. Because if somebody doesn't know the specifics of this, uh, 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 of what we're talking about here, they could easily hear what Rudy Giuliani is saying and be like, I guess Iran is like responsible for it. Not even close. Not even close, not remotely. It's totally different ideologies we're talking about here. Um, 
And then he says, Islamic terror groups are involved in the drug trade. Guys, just so you know, what motivates Muslim fundamentalist terrorists? Well, you know, some argue, hey, it's a reaction, it's a backlash to U.S. foreign policy, which destroyed their countries, and, and it's, you know, it's fighting back for Palestine, which is still occupied by Israel, so on and so forth. That all plays a role. But you know what else it is? Their ideology, their religious ideology. They're, it's not part of their ideology. They can't partake in a drug trade. That's not a thing. And the argument is that they're involved, in, the Islamic extremist groups are involved in the drug trade? How? How? Are we going to pretend like what? There's no language barrier between people in South America and people you know, in Iraq and Afghanistan and Pakistan and Saudi Arabia? Are we going to act like they're really in some sort of business coordination with one another? No, they... Oh, these extremists would also view anybody in South America as infidels. <laughs> they're not... This is, Oh my God, it's so shamelessly made up that I shouldn't even have to take the time to walk through this stuff to try to debunk it. By the way, no evidence has ever been presented on this front, because it's total nonsense. And then finally, what does he do? He, he swoops in uh, Venezuela and Ecuador. He's like, well, pfft. I mean, they're, pfft. you know, we think that he's only a problem to his own people. No. He's working with the terrorists. How many times have, I made this joke on Twitter, initially, of radical Venezuelan terrorism a while ago. And now they're literally trying to make that argument. This idea of, like, Maduro's gonna attack us. By the way, I forget whether it was released on Amazon or Netflix or something, but there's this new show with John Krasinski coming out, and it's about uh, Venezuela trying to get a nuke. And the whole idea of the show is that... I think they even say it in the trailer, like, the evidence will come with a mushroom cloud of, like, Maduro attacking the United States. Are you kidding me? That's the same shit they said about Saddam. We can't wait for evidence, because that evidence could come in the form of a mushroom cloud over the United States. The idea that Maduro, that Venezuela, would offensively attack the United States of America, that is sheer lunacy! They're a rinky-dink gnat of a country with a military budget that's probably not even 1% of what we spend. They know they'd get obliterated. By the way, we're waging economic warfare against them. They ain't doing Dickie McGee's acts to us. Are you out of your mind? But it's propaganda on the next level where they're trying to hack, like, push this idea, this notion of, like, evil dictator bad, we must go topple him, and he's... And now it's not just, like... Because people recently have tolerated that kind of an argument. Like, well, I mean, I guess Maduro is kind of bad, isn't he? But that next step, which now they're actually trying to argue, which is, no, 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 not only is he bad, he wants to attack you. That's where even conservatives are like, fuck off, that's not true. That's nowhere near true. Are you kidding? Who believes that? Who can believe that? Radical Venezuelan terrorists. Did you know? Maduro is housing ISIS? I can't believe you just actually tried to make that point. And you think you're serious. By the way, Fox News totally lets him get away with it. Runs with it. I mean, just sheer rank propaganda network. Rudy Giuliani is on Fox, Fox News here, Fox and Friends exploiting the memory of 9-11 to try to do more regime change in countries totally unaffiliated with it. Wants to topple Iran, wants to topple Venezuela, trying to tie them in and blame 9-11 on them in a roundabout way. And say they're housing the people who do the attacks. We gotta do something, bro! We gotta topple them, bro! What do you want to do? You wanna get attacked by Maduro, bro? Not only are the neocons immoral and wrong, they're also just incredibly stupid. I don't know how anybody can buy this. I feel bad for anybody who could buy what they're selling here. Because it is so far away from that which is true that, again, even a casual political observer has to go, 
that doesn't sound right, man. <laughs> Guys, I hate to break it to you, but we're the world's sole superpower, we're the empire, and we are the bully on the world stage. We just want to topple every government that doesn't submit to our corporate rule. To our dominance. So, in this situation, doesn't mean Maduro isn't a bad guy against his own people, doesn't mean the, you know, government of Iran is good, they're not, they're a brutal theocracy. So they could still be bad, but internationally speaking, we're the bully, we're in the wrong, and we just want to topple everybody who doesn't fall in line. And that should be more obvious to you now than ever, because look at the lengths they go to, to try to build public support for a war with Venezuela, a war with Iran, covert methods of regime change, so on and so forth. And we are dev we are impacting these countries in a devastating way, by the way. We're violating international law repeatedly. We've sanctioned medicine going into Iran and people are dying. We've stopped shipments of food from going into Venezuela. As our government argues, Maduro is telling me he's starving his people. He's starving his people. Really? So why did you just stop a shipment of food from going in there? If you care about the Venezuelan people eating, wouldn't you be doing the opposite? Wouldn't you be sending more ships? Come on, man. God damn it. I hate these guys. They're so evil and so wrong. And so imagine this being your life. This is the legacy you're leading behind. Wanting to attack, offensively attack and topple more countries and trying to blame these totally unrelated countries for what happened on 9-11. Shameful. Rudy Giuliani is a joke.